What we have here then, Mike, is uh, something slightly different. These are rather than our standard bench planes, these are kind of shoulder planes, rebate planes. So they are a low angle plane, and rather than the bevel on the grinding being on the underneath, yeah, these all are. these now are bevel up planes, effectively. Um, I'll let Mike talk about the, the various ones within the range of their size wise, and perhaps some of the different jobs we might be looking to do with, with those ones. Yeah, they're, these are a dedicated shoulder rebate plane. Um, where you've got the blade which comes right out to the sole, to the edge of the, the sole of the, the plane, so you can get into and create a shoulder, yep. and also for cleaning off the cheeks of the tenon mm -hmm. when you want to make sure it's, it's square. So we have to have a low angle, so we put it on end grain predominantly. Yep. What's a tight mouth, so we're not going to get tear out from it, and also a low angle because we, we will be working across the grain or on end grain on, on tenons. So they are a specific and dedicated tool. Uh, we've got a, a range of, of, of shoulder rebate planes in the, in the Clifton uh, uh, range. We have three dedicated shoulder planes, a small trimming plane um, for small uh, detail. You have a conventional shoulder rebate plane which is easy to use and if you're working on a tenon it's quite easy to get close to it yep. with the 5 8 wide plane. You have the large shoulder rebate plane which is ideal for working on deep shoulders because you can utilise this plane on its side and you've got the, the width of the plane there so you can work on a it's deep. It's nice and flat. Yeah. Yeah. So perhaps we're doing larger shoulders, uh, larger shoulder tenons. Deep tenons. The one I tend to use on the bench myself most of the time because we're doing relatively small furniture work tends to be the 410 or we're going up the 420 if we're doing larger tenons, like larger work. And the 400 detail planes we tend to call it, uh, which we do really quite fine work it's, it's, with that one. Yeah, I mean really you would use that for, for chamfering, for just breaking the aris on a, on a, on a shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, it's a set using a rosewood wedge yep. so it's a, it's a presetted play once you just tap the blade in and lock the, lock the blade in with the wedge and that just gives you a nice really fine yeah shavings on there shaving made in the same format as the dedicated shoulder rebates it's got a, a 16th of an inch mouth width mm -hmm. which is what we work to again it's a british standard yeah so it's around about a 16th of an inch which is uh, that gives you the ability to a to get the shavings through the mouth, mm -hmm. but it will it will work on end grain and well as cross grain, grain. Yeah. Yeah. accurately. We've then got two additions to the to the range. We've got the combination plane, which is uh, you would call that your, your jack, as you would call the number five of your bench planes. Okay. That would be your jack because yeah. it's it's. It's a plane that you can utilise for many, many operations from conventional shoulder work yeah. or rebate. And work. this is a wider one than the other ones within the range as well. So, some so it's a little more, weight, bit more width to it because, yep. again, I would, you, know, you, you could use this plane for uh, if, you, if you're dowling or hiring screws, you can mm -hmm. use this across the surface of the timber. So it's, it's like a a block plane, yeah. it's a low angle, so it's like a, a small block plane. You've got the front piece which you can take off and apply it on those. Yeah, so we can get pretty tight so into the corners. And... So you can work yep. on stop shoulders. Yes. You can also remove the front end completely and work on into maybe blind corners into a blind corner, or, or yeah. maybe on a raised panel where you want to just get right up to it so you can use yep. it as a chisel plane. Yeah. So quite a, quite a variance within that one. And these ones, I notice uh, the 410, the 420 and the uh, combination plane here also then all have a fine uh, got adjuster a in and out. The only one that hasn't is then more yeah. the traditional style, basically knocking uh, in and out. Yeah. The planes are, again are made using grey iron, uh, fully annealed grey iron, but the lever cap is made from malleable iron because that is susceptible for, for damage so yeah. because obviously we're going to tighten that up. The reason we used uh, grey iron as opposed to malleable iron for the actual body or the carters of the body of the plane is that we don't want any deflection on the sole. Mm -hmm. With a malleable 
uh, material, it's got a little bit of give in it, too yeah. much give, and so that will, as you tighten up the, the, the lever cap there, you could get some deflection from the sole, which would mean it wouldn't be perfectly flat, and that yes. would be no good for working on your shoulders. Yeah. So it's grand for the, for the bodies, malleable for the actual uh, levers, the triggers. On the combination plane, to ensure that we get the same accuracy of flatness and squareness as we do on our shoulder planes, each plane is individually made. Okay. So only the number 40 of the bullnose number 40 of this particular plane will fit the body. Mm -hmm.